drawing a tulip. Think of their voluptuous shape. And draw the continuous line. You can always come back and restate the line if you want. See, this one comes up. I'm providing quite a few to the pictures for you to choose from. With this project, so that you can experiment. Don't feel like you can, you're gonna do, that you, don't feel like you can just do one and nail it, because I've done a few and believe me, they don't all turn out the way you think, but sometimes they're even prettier than you expected. Okay, there we go. So that's a nice shape. Let's paint that. It's probably a good idea to wait a minute before you put the water down so that your ink is completely dry. I'm having a few bleeds, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. I'm going to want some purple tulips. Let's go for that. So I'm using some lavender and blue and letting those colors mix and mingle on the page. Maybe I'll get a little darker down at the base. So while it's wet, you can play with it a little bit. But the idea here is to get in and get out and don't fuss with it too much. There. Hmm. So I have blue. That's Let's mix a little purple in there. Just just to show you what you can do with your colors. Not feel like you're locked into what you see. Unless you're doing a botanical painting. You make it thicker, it'll sit on the top. I have some very fresh lavender paint. Let me use some of that. And then pull it down into the stem. And add your green. There we go. I'm going to add just a little bit of detailing. Give it some character. Hmm. I just need a little value change. There we go. Got one more flower. Let's do it right here and give that a go.
So I'm just going to suggest these leaves that are coming out of the side. Why not? And I'm not going to get into any of the other tulips. I'm just suggesting these leaf details. All right, now the inside of that is very bright pink. So let's let's get that in. Actually, the whole thing is pink. So I'm, I'm doing the lightest color, and then I'm going to come back and state some of the rest of that. That'll work. So this is, i put some of my greens in there. I'm just suggesting it. So this yellow ring. Maybe put a few spots of the rose out here. Rose color that's on the inside. And We'll let that dry for a minute. I see purple in there, so I'm going to use my Rose of Ultramarine and bring that out from the center because it's going to be darker in a minute. more rows. This part gets really nice and deep and rich. So a little shadow there. So this this tulip has a little more detail than the others. But it's it's kind of it's kind of fun to look on the inside of the tulips. And I'll let that dry and then I'll bring in those shapes. Let's see, this should come in under there because it's lighter. And that's working pretty well. Blend it a little bit and we'll let that dry. Maybe splatter Let's see. A little more rows down here. Wait a minute, I can get the center taken care of. Okay, I'm gonna get those deep dark centers in and for that I am using neutral tint and my Rose of Ultramarine because it's almost black but not quite. I think it's pretty dry and let's get those shapes in here. Very careful to get that part of the shape right. So you have to wait until your painting is dry. 
at least that part of the painting. I'm kind of impatient, so my painting isn't 100% dry, but for control purposes, I do recommend that you wait. Let's see, where else can I finesse? Just a little bit. Right in here. The, the key thing with this is to not overdo it. And it's real easy to go too far. So here I'm I'm just suggesting one of these petals. Yeah, I just let that be. So these simple tulips are great for Mother's Day gifts. And so I wanted to give you something that that you could quickly do and instead of or maybe in addition to a bouquet of flowers you could paint some tulips because a painting lasts forever I do want to splatter just a little bit so I make a puddle, you can see that. 